Hey, what's going on? My name's Steve Monenbach and I own a Facebook marketing agency. Today I'm coming to you live to talk about uh, e-commerce products and how you can create ads on Facebook to help sell your, your e-com products and as well as the sales pages that you can make through click funnels or, or, uh, or lead pages or whatever you use uh, in order to help sell your products. You know, that involves upsells, downsells, uh, order bumps, anything along those lines. So today I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the uh, sales funnel I made for this uh, spice maker that I'm working with out of Los Angeles. So with that, let's go ahead and hop into my computer screen so I can walk through uh, all, all the sales pages that I made. All right, so uh, we made it onto my laptop computer screen. Uh, this is where I set up all my ads. This is the back, the back end of Facebook right now that we're on. Uh, this is the Chef Brick campaign. I'm marketing their spices right now. Uh, but this one I'm running for them is actually a, a giveaway. We're giving away a four pack of their spices. As you can see, it's doing really well in terms of generating leads. They're already up to 395 leads. Uh, you know, only 29 cents a lead form and only $115 spent so far. I just started this up this last week. So those are really good results. I'll go ahead and uh, hop in here and show you guys some of my targeting for this particular campaign. Uh, I've, I see only $8 a day budget for, uh, I do eight, $8 a day for women, $8 a day for men. And then if you go down in here, you can see they have a spice rub interest on Facebook, which I thought was freaking amazing. I had no idea they would have this. Uh, I just thought, oh, let's, let's see if they have a spice rub category and they sure, sure as shit they did. So, um, I got that in there and then let's also go take a look at the ad I made for them for this particular campaign. We'll go into here, edit, uh, just give you a quick little look. It's just attention spice lovers. We're doing something crazy to promote the launch of our gourmet spice rubs by giving away one of our kitchen essentials four packs for free. It's a $50 value. So it's a giveaway. As you can see, it's getting a lot of action down here. 33 people have you know reacted to it. 11 comments, 17 shares already on this one in particular. And I had one other one too. Where's the, let's look at the men's one. The women and men had uh, ads perform differently. So you always want to split those out and test to see, you know, men versus women, what's going to work better. Like for this one, I'm using a video actually was, was performing really well. Um, and so this particular video, it's just, uh, showing him, showing him, uh, putting his spice rub on some meat there on the, on the ribs. And so this one, 81 reactions, 14 comments also, uh, getting a lot of, a lot of action. Uh, but that's all I have for the on the uh, the ad side. When I when I create the ad to go with these uh, funnel pages that I'm about to show you, it's going to be a little bit different ad than that one. But that was just something to get it going. So here I've got a uh, five step uh, sales funnel I made in ClickFunnels. It's got like the, their opt in page where it's going to collect uh, their name and email, the order form, the first offer, the second offer, and the order confirmation. We'll just hop into these pages. I've already got them opened. So here, if you uh, reload this page, I have the video set to autoplay. So right here, it's already playing right now when you when you open the page. First button, uh, some testimonials. Uh, this was just showing how to make a specific type of taco. Of red wine vinegar. We'll go down here, showing all the spices here. Of sugar, a few lines of text. Of Let's pause yeah. this actually. A few lines of text just talking about the rubs, who they're, you know, who they're for, what the different flavors are, things like that. Uh, just saying, yes, rush me my free spice rub before they're gone. Here's the video again. This one's set to, they have to actually hit the button to play it. Um, so it's the sal salmon tacos. And then one more button here at the end. Uh, if you click the button, this is what pops up. And you can type in your information, and then we uh, we keep you know the name and the email address before they even have to go to the the order page. So this type of offer that I'm running right now, it's a it's a claim your free uh, spice rub offer. They only have to pay for the shipping and handling on it, and that's a really good way to get people to opt into your offers. Is just charge them shipping and handling. Maybe make the shipping and handling a little bit more to cover the cost of your product. Um, and that's what I've done here. So if we go to this next page, you can see uh, the spice rub. You get it free. A fourteen ninety nine value. Um, I think I forget what the cost is on it exactly, but I think it's you know six or eight bucks maybe. And then you have the shipping price is nine ninety five. Well, the shipping price isn't exactly nine ninety five. It's it'll be below that. But I factored some of the cost uh, of the actual product into that shipping price uh, as a way to you know make the offer more enticing. Because you know if you say you're giving away a free product and all you have to do is pay shipping, that's gonna entice a lot more people to opt into the offer. 
Uh, and then we still, even if they don't buy right here, we still have already captured their information on this page right here. So they'll, they'll be able to be added to your email list, which is good. That's what you want. And I got a picture April right there. If they want to call in, we go to the next page. Uh, it says, wait, would you like us to add our other spice, three other spice rubs to your package for only $24? So this is at 40% off right there. Um, so these normally retail for $39.99, a three pack of these rubs would. So, so we're, giving them the, we're giving them the upsell option at this point. So if they want to get all four of them together, you know, they'd pay that $9.95 plus uh, the $24 here now. And then you just have two button options here. Yes, include three more spice rubs in my order for $24. Or no, I don't want any more spice rubs added to my order. Uh, this type of button setup usually works pretty well. You know, the no, I don't want any more will usually, you know, help entice people to actually click on this one up here and get them to, to uh, up their order. Let's go to the next page. Uh, so we go, so in this particular instance, we did uh, a free product plus shipping. The next page was an upsell. So now we're trying to sell them three other spice rubs. And now this page, we're taking them to a, what's called a downsell, uh, where it's going to be, you know, offering them the same, the same value of 40% off on just one of these products and it's it's all uh, going to be bundled in the same package so they get you can say you know hey you're going to get free shipping on this one too but it's it's really already included uh and just on the button it just states 40 percent off 8.99 uh for this ex last extra bottle and i just put a few more lines of text in here uh there it says the spice room qualifies for free shipping well they're already paying for the shipping with the first one so yeah it does qualify for free shipping it's just included just more uh, more pictures of it you know, got three buttons on here, I think. Yeah, one, two, three different buttons. Again, give him the, the no thank you option at the end. But we're hoping, you know, they're going to click on this one. So we go to the last page. is the order confirmation. I just have a really basic page right here. I might tweak this in the future. But this is just, uh, you know, the first product funnel I've made. So I just wanted to to keep it basic. Um, and this will be updated with, you know, based on how many, how many uh, product offerings they selected. And then the price will automatically change as well. But that's about all I've got for uh, setting up a product funnel. Uh, the important thing to remember is you have that first page uh, where you're going to collect their name and email address before you take them to the order form. That way you can add them to your email list, anyways. And then you're going to take them to um, you're going to take them to the order form. They're going to fill out their information, and then you're going to take them to either an up. You're going to take them to probably an upsell, uh, and then you can even do another upsell. Or in this case, I chose to do a downsell. So you could do a smaller upsell first and then a bigger upsell, or you can do a, a bigger upsell and then a, and then do a downsell where you're actually lowering the price before you uh, have them confirm their offer or before they get their order confirmation. Uh, but that's all I've got for Chef Brick Rubs. Uh, if you guys are in the rub market, check them out. Uh, but that's all I've got for today. All right, thanks for watching.